end of a long day, and so excuse the lovely picture you got. <laughs> uh, you'll see all that on another vlog. But um, real quick, I'm getting ready to make supper and realize that um, we are out of mayonnaise. My husband's going to come in any minute now and look for a sandwich to tide him over until dinner is ready, and it'll be a little while before it's ready. So um, if there's no mayonnaise in this house, it's like... Um, you know, every every household has their thing. Every marriage has their thing. Ours is mayonnaise. <laughs> if there's no mayonnaise, it's a real point of contention. So I'm gonna show you how I make mayonnaise. All right, so I'm gonna start with just a pint-sized jar. I like a wide mouth jar because my uh, stick blender will fit in there. And then I'm going to use three fresh eggs. These are fresh out of the coop. So you're gonna start with one whole egg and two egg yolks. Um, you're going to use a tablespoon of a good apple cider vinegar. This is how we do it. So we use one with the mother, half a teaspoon of ground mustard, half a teaspoon of salt. This is Redmond's Real Salt, and a cup and a half of avocado oil. This is one that I buy through Amazon. Um, that's the best deal I can find. So I'm going to get started and show you how we do it. All right, so one whole egg goes in the bottom. Two egg yolks. Oh, my yolk broke. That's okay. <laughs> be all right. I did wash my hands. <laughs> all right. All right, to that I'm gonna add my salt. and my vinegar. It's a tablespoon of vinegar. So you wanna mix this well and then pour your oil on top. So that should be about a quarter cup. Um, to the top is two cups, and so it's gonna be about one and three quarter cups of oil. You could go one and a half. If you're having a hard time getting this to turn into mayonnaise, try to chill your eggs first or use a little bit less oil. So you can see how that separated out. The ingredients I put in first are on the bottom. And that's how you want it. So the trick to mixing mayonnaise and getting it right is to um, incorporate the oil as slow as possible. So if you're using a regular blender, you wanna put these ingredients in the bottom and then drizzle your oil in as slow as you can. Um, I had a hard time with that. I didn't get a consistent product. This works pretty much every time. So I'm gonna start by pulsing. Until you see these little white globbies start to float to the top. So that tells me the oil is incorporating with the ingredients on the bottom just fine. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the high. Now in the beginning, I'm going to leave the blender sitting on the bottom while it runs. change happening. I don't see the oil sucking down anymore, so I'm going to start to lift it up a little bit. It's just a little out of time. That's it. So this 
bit thinner than what you're used to buying in the jar on the shelf at the grocery store, but that's okay. It will thicken up in the refrigerator. Um, this is, you do want to refrigerate it. We use this as our mayonnaise all the time. Uh, we also use it as the base of our salad dressings. Um, it's great. It has no soy. It has no hydrogenized anything. It has no sugar. Uh, if you read the ingredients of what you're getting in the grocery store shelf, then you'd, you'd know why this was a good product. So here's, here's our mayonnaise. Perfect. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Make this mayonnaise and leave me a comment. How did you like it? Bye.